Hi everybody. Oops, I forgot to zoom in. Um, welcome to Deb's thing. This is Debbie. And I will warn you now, the dog, the pup, Cider, I can't, he's kind of too far away to show you a view of him right now, but he is in this room, so if there's a sudden startling bark, I've warned you. Because <laughs> I know you guys have been scared before, but he's hanging out with me right now. This design here, which is yet unnamed, um, I previewed in a uh, preview of upcoming designs on February 26, 2015, and um, it's similar to my bando, but as you can see, it is definitely different. I, I really like how uh, hey. these, these bands here, because the way I place them, are like wider than these. And like these on the bandeau, they're all the same, same width. Um, both of these I previewed back in February, but last night, one certain unnamed puppy who's scratching at my door did this to the original design. Yeah. Fortunately, I think I can sell, I, I'm pretty sure all the um, specialty bands I can salvage, the other ones I might just use for practice and I will be right ready I'm back I gave the dog back to his 12 year old owner to go play with all right let's get going so that I can semi concentrate um it's five bars across all parallel to each other and okay I like this so I will use This one, color A, are the 300 count um, pearl black and white. Color B are the 300 count, um, I have Persian neon green, but it's definitely not. It's uh, medieval. Whether it's neon or whatever, it's just green, that color. I think it's a neon green. That's color B. Color C, I used pink here and here. And then it's also up the center. And it kind of looks weird because it, you see, kind of, it's kind of offset, which I guess that's just how it came out. So I used center, um, up the center, but you can't see it. And then this row and this row are the um, red opaque. So. For the black bands, I am going to use bands I don't think I've ever used before because I don't really like brown, but I bought them. So I'm going to use the, I guess these are all pearl, right? The 300 count pearl brown and white. In the middle, I was just going to use the turquoise pearl, 300 count, you know, turquoise and then white. But I think I might throw, make a pattern and use the, um, which one, I forget which, are these the, this must be medieval, yeah, the medieval white, because it's got the silver on the outside and the white on the inside. So I might alternate those up the middle, I'm not sure yet. And then for the color C and color Ds, the pink and the green. These both are, okay, color C, I'm thinking I'm going to use this. It's kind of a, it almost looks transparent, but you can see here it's kind of got like a green. And then this one's purple. They are both from um, Michael's Craft Store. They're mixed glitter. So they're kind of a lower, I don't know if I call them lower end because they cost as much as any other bag. But they're just different. They're kind of transparent, more transparent, but they still have the glitter. I'm going to use this on the outside and of course up the probably up the middle and then I'm going to use the, the purple hue um, where the red is okay and it's pretty stretchy and this is this one is a full full wrap and it, it'll fit me um, anybody else might want to add like one band extension 
to make it fit better because my wrist is a little smaller than normal. Gosh, they're all, my hands are always looking bad because my dog. I have paper thin skin. Oh, here's another one I just saw. Oh, this one it just happened. And I guess that one just happened too. Don't even notice the pain. <laughs> it's strange because I noticed so many other things. Anyhow, let's get going. We will start by taking oh, okay. color A, which I'm using the brown. And we are not going to start these two, but this right here. It's going to be, I guess, um, I think J, J's, 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 J Alexander, J's Alexander, I, or no, Alabaris. I'm sorry, ah, Alexander. He's not British. He's Filipino. <laughs> um, I think he coined this stitch as the cuff stitch. Um, but I, you know, I used it long before I think he coined that phrase um, as at least as early as my uh, circlet, circle, and with a T at the end, circlet, which I did the tutorial uh, in June of 2014, and I previewed it in May of 2014, and I had done that probably in early 2014, that actual design, because I had a whole, you know, hundreds, 150 some odd designs made before I ever did my first tutorial, so I probably saw it somewhere else. I don't know. I just don't know. I wish I knew who first, um, you know, placed bands like this underneath everything and then uh, either loop them back to their, you know, pins. Um, in my circlet, I placed them like this and reach under it, and I did a crisscross about this up here and this up here, which probably can't happen with these, although these brown ones are pretty stretchy. I just used um, opaque bands because back then I think that's... They didn't have the specialty bands yet. So anyways, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking too much. I just was hoping to find out where this, this um, placing the bands like this underneath the design started out. Okay, so you're going to do this up on both sides. You know... I want to do this fast so we can move on to the next step. So why don't I just okay? You do do that, and then you're going to take your um, color B and stretch it across like this. And this is what gives you the wider cuff stitch afterwards, which I think looks cool. This is a little more refined, I think, than this one. I mean, this one's got. They're both five pins wide, or five bar pins wide, but just the way I did this one, it makes it look wider. It's got more going on. This one's a little more streamlined. Anyhow, do all these, and then do the, um, you know, do all the A pin the bands, and then place the B on top over across, stretching across these three. And I'm going to go sit down. Even though it's cooler in here, where the air conditioning is running in the background, than it is in the living room where it's hotter than anything. I, don't know. I sweat less out there. I don't know. Probably because I have to sit up right. Anyhow, blah, blah, blah. Again, I'm so sorry. I will be back. Okay. Now that I have all the A and B bands placed, and you don't do the very you know, end one. Either here or on the other end, okay? Now we are going to take our C colored bands and I'm going to put two here for my close closure bands. Place one like this, one up at the angle then all the way up the side. Make sure you don't overlap though. Keep them on top of the bands underneath. 
and the, on this side you do one like this, angle up, and the same. I try to do this really quickly. Sorry, I'm off, off screen here, but just doing this all the way up the sides. As quickly as I am able. get clumsy if we try to go too fast. I always seem to go faster when I use my left hand. Okay, as you get to the end here, you have to do a, the last straight band will be like this. Then you will go over and then over to the center pin, which is where the cap will be. So now I'm just going to finish on this side. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so quiet. But I'm doing my best not to ramble on about things that don't matter. So I'm so bad at that. Well, hopefully some of my stories are interesting. My husband's home. Guess he got zapped really good by electricity today. Bummer. something, huh? I guess maybe I'm glad he weighs more than he used to, right? <laughs> I think a slighter person might have not fared so well. Okay, I'm just pushing these kind of down. I know I'm trying to be too neat. Let's get this out of the way. Make sure it all end up. Okay. Now we're going to do these three rows. The middle one, I'm choosing to use the same as I did the borders. And then row two and row five, I'm using the purple of the Michaels glitter. So you do all three from border to, you know, from down here all the way up to, whoops, I forgot to do this last pin. Our last band. So you do them up to these three. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and do it. Okay, that was really simple. So now I'm going to turn the loom around and I'm going to place two bands as the cap right here in the center. The first steps will be to loom out the uh, B colored bands, yeah, the B bands in the center, and you're going to be reaching underneath these D bands up row, on rows two and five, and bringing both of the ends to the center pin. Okay, you can go do all that, you know, all the way up if you want. But you can also alternate. So I'm going to show you like, the next two things to do. Oh, so let's just I'll have to play with that later. 
Then you're going to do um, after the B band is loomed, you are going to take these A bands from the inside to the out. I I just do that. I hope you saw that. Um, because I don't know, it's just safer. Some of my designs you have to do it this way, or else it all it won't be together. So again, you're going to reach underneath all the way down to those bands. Do that, and then you're going to start from the inner pin and go out. Reach underneath and grab the other side and go back. Okay. So I'll show you one more time how to do the center B bands. Okay, hold on. You do like take both pieces, both ends to the center. And then you'll take these bands from the inner pin first, then the outer pin in, the inner pin out, and the outer pin in. Okay, so just do that up the loom. Just make sure you do the center ones first because those are on top. I kind of raced out of here, so ho I hope you saw enough, but I kept a few bands undone so I can do them, you know, give you another shot at how to do these. But I forgot to mention it and I made a note to make a caption on this tutorial. All the bands that you place, you know, single chain, except for the center, seriously, they're really stretched to the hilt. So you want to make sure that they are very stretchy and will not break because as you can see, it's, you know, might be able to figure out how to replace it, but who wants to do that if you don't have to? So now that you know that, after the fact, <laughs> um, I'm going to show again what to do is you get all the one, the B bands that stretch across these three pins and reach underneath and bring both ends of it to the center pin. Ah, no, 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 not allowed, not allowed. Does that look right? Does that look right? No, that doesn't. Hold on. We are going to put you back. Okay, I mucked it up. So I'm gonna have camera fix that. Ugh. And be right back. Okay, hopefully I haven't permanently messed up this middle there <laughs> by getting it all twisted. So yeah. So first you do all those. Get those done. Or at least get it done per section, and then you can do these, which you would reach under, bring in from the in to the out, and then from the out to the in. You can go back and you know, do this side, this side, or you can go straight up. It doesn't matter. Okay, hopefully you can't hear my husband in the background. He's dictating um, a letter on his computer, and he's got a big voice. He didn't so much when he was younger, his voice was kind of soft and, shall I dare say, sexy. <laughs> it was. <laughs> he can still be that way, but as he's older now, he's not impressing anybody, so he doesn't care. <laughs> uh, we were all young once. Okay. Now, for whatever reason, I find doing the center band, then these, and then these. So, 
you're going to do the center all the way up. And you kind of have to look for that little band, especially when they're clear like this. But it's just single chain all the way up. Okay. So let's pretend I've done that all the way. So it's just, it's just you're just going to go straight up to this cap. Okay. Or not the cap, the just the last pin in the center. Then, after that's done, you're going to take this band and this band and loom those out, get them out of the way, and so that you can have, have them lock in these bands. Now, you're going to take this band straight up. Now that doesn't look too bad, but watch this. See? Look how how stressed that band is. So that is why I insist that they be very, very stretchy. And then you're going to do it on this side and you're just single, pretty much, it's a, kind of a, a funky single chain. You do the center row, then you you do these two border bands out, then you loom up single chain <sighs> column two and column five. So we pretend we got all that done, we've got those two done, and then finally we are going to come back and then just go up the borders. And as you will see, this one not quite as bad as the the decolored bands on rows two and five, but still pretty, um, you know, they're fairly stretched, uh, fairly taxed. Okay, so reach under here, grab this, and then just single chain up each side until you get to here, and then of course you'll go here to from this pin to that pin and that pin to that one. All right, I hope I haven't confused you. It's pretty basic. You're just doing single chain up the center. Bring these two um, border bands to here and here. Single chain up here, single chain up here, and then single chain the borders. Did I show that? I'm sorry. Single chain up the center. Bring these the two pins out of the board. Um, bands from the center out to here, loom up this band, this column, this column, and then finally finish off the border. Very simple. The only thing is just, you know, pay attention. I mean, it's just right here. You pull back this, you know, bigger band and it's right there. The only thing is it's really, really taut. Okay? And I'll be back with it almost off in just to show um, you how to, fit, you know, get it to look all nice and neat like this because it doesn't come off the loom all neat. You have to work for it. So after you have all your bands loomed straight up, um, you probably already realize this, but now you're going to take this one here, this one here, Take this one to the center pin and this one to the center pin. This has to be the messiest looking design as far as all the bands twisted and whatnot. But I just wanted to get this done. And this is a design you kind of have to earn once it's off the loom. It's no big deal but straightening out the bands afterwards makes all the difference in how it looks. Okay, so now I'm just going to try to reach in here, grab whew, these two, that's close. Okay, stretch them out. Pop on the clip. Hopefully I got all the bands and finish taking it off the loom. much nicer once it's a half. It 
it's mostly off the loom instead of having to watch me take it all the way off. Okay. Now, as you can see, this does not look like this. While I actually think you know, it almost looks interesting leaving these bands like that. So see they have this, they show up on the side. Well, I guess they show both ways. Um, but I use a toothpick. If you don't have toothpicks, they're less than you know, a dollar for a box. It's always good to have toothpicks. You never know. Um, you can use probably the you know pulled out end of a paper clip. You can use your fingers. But see this one that's kind of, there's one on top and this tighter one underneath. You want to pull that underneath one out so it matches. The ne see this one's on top and this one's underneath. So pull that one up and then just make sure they're even. So you would do that up both sides. The center isn't as bad. But to doing this, this is what makes it all nice and even. And so you can do, I, I just do it here just to bring them up, but pretty much they're already already um, pretty nice. The only thing you might want to do is, you know, if one got twisted, just flip it. Just kind of pull and twist and it snaps into place, okay? So again, reach and grab this second half of the loop that's kind of tight. Pull it up. Make it even with the other one. And after you take five minutes to do that, it'll look like this. Nice and pretty. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Deb's Thing if you want to see more of my designs. Um, and you'll see this on Instagram, all nice and pretty. Um, and speaking of Instagram, if you would like, uh, I would really love for you to follow me at Deb's Thing on Instagram. Alright, thanks so much. Good night.